What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Nerd Edition of Action Sunday, and this week I'm looking at a movie called Code of Silence, starring Chuck Norris. Yeah, kind of going back to the well of martial arts uh, stars and all that. So, but yeah, I've done a lot of Jean Claude Van Damme and Jackie Chan, so I'm going to give them a break. So I decide, why the heck not? Let's go to uh, Chuck Norris. And uh, so after much search, I decide, hi, here's here's a good one. Code of Silence. So, so I finally got a chance to sit down and watch it. And while I understand this was considered uh, Chuck Norris's favorite movie, as well as I heard on the bet one of his best work, and uh, and I could see why. Like it's a got a really good story. I love the character and I love the setting. It the the gritty Chicago setting really brings it home. So, and for those of you that have never seen this movie, I'll give you a brief synopsis of the whole plot. So. Norris plays a Chicago cop named Eddie Cusack, and he's tr trying to bring down a drug kingpin, uh, the Camachos, or drug, yeah, that kind of thing. And so he has the drug bus set up, this is in the beginning of the movie, and somehow it goes south after a rival gang known as the Lunas come, and come in, shoot up the whole place, and they steal the loot. So, oh, great. Imagine this good guy, a good cop having a good day. Somehow it goes south in a matter of seconds. Not to not to make things even more complicated, somehow uh, he's also got off by corruption in his own department. So, yay! This guy's definitely having a good day. Man, and Chuck Norris just takes this character in droves. Like, you, you can just see him just go from, you know, okay, here we go, I can do this. Now, now he's just slowly getting angrier and whatnot. He's like, I want to get this done. That kind of thing. Man. And, wait, and now he's got, got in the crossfire of all this corruption and this drug war. <laughs> Man. Not a good day for this to be this guy, man. Yeah, not much else I can say. Um, the the supporting cast does a good job. Um, Henry Silva, my goodness, I have like I've said this before about good villains or actors playing good villains. Man, he takes this character in strides. He plays Camacho. Man, I, I like it. It's like oh my god, you're just, you're just begging to see this guy get his ass kicked and like uh, or something like that. Like just. There's just something about this character that I really like. If I had to compare him to Sarah McCobe in uh, Time Cop, I'd say they're probably on the same level, maybe. I don't know. Your pick. Um, let's see, as for the supporting cast, the rest of the supporting cast, Dennis Farina. Uh, man, he, he play, did a good job playing like, like a young cop, which I understand was, get this, he was he was a cop around the time of filming. So I thought, hmm, interesting. Didn't know that. Um, and we have uh, Molly Hagen, who plays uh, the the Luna's daughter, the the crime boss's daughter. So somehow she's she's the innocent one in this. She's like, I don't want to be tied up in any of this. So, so somehow she gets brought into this. That pretty much also adds to a Q Sacks, uh, you know, angst. You know, oh great, I got to keep her alive. Okay, <laughs> that kind of thing, or potentially out of the hands of the Camacho. So yeah. It's just, it's just, it's just one bad thing after another for this guy. But yeah, not much else I can say about just that character. But the rest of the story, it moves at a good pace. Uh, there's the action's pretty good. If you're expecting like a lot of explosions, very little explosions, except for one. I don't want to give too much of the story away. It it takes it involves a high speed chase. It, it's really good. But there's one scene that I really enjoyed, and that is there's a scene where where Eddie chases a thug who's got Luna's daughter onto a train. Um, after rescuing her from that, from him, he chases the thug onto the roof of the train, and then somehow the thug escapes by diving into the river. He follows after him, but of course, it ends in a very violent death. I'm like, oh my god! It was, it was, it was just pretty cool and gritty to watch. And like, and like Chuck Norris just took that stunt in his stride. I'm like, holy cow! Did he really just do that? Did he just leap off a high speed train through the city of Chicago into the freaking river? Damn, that's badass, and man, and Chuck Norris really is a badass, and he really shook and took and did it in strides throughout the entire movie. It was incredible. I'd say now I see why he loves this movie and considers it his best work. If you've not seen this, definitely give this one a watch. And like the twist, the the action, and like you can just see how much in, happens throughout the movie. And there's there's a really fun, there's one funny scene that I really enjoyed. I don't, I don't want to talk, talk about it, but I got to tell you. So at one point, they're, they're celebrating in a bar, and like two two criminals walk in, walk in, they're threatening to show up, and they show up the place, and all of a sudden, tables are turned, and they're like, oh, shit. We didn't realize, oh, oh my God, everyone in the bar is a cop. I thought that was, I thought that was a good, funny moment in the, just in the middle of this, of all this cr crazy corruption, drug fighting throughout the entire movie. Good stuff. 
I'd say give this movie a watch. You can um you can probably find it like me. I found it via the Stars app. So go at, go on your stars. Um yeah, and, and you, you will enjoy this movie. Okay. So if I had to give uh Code of Silence a a rating, I'm gonna give this one. I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten because it really is definitely Chuck Norris's best work. Um even though there's still much more Chuck Norris I can probably find to me to me you know prove my point maybe kind of see if uh, hey. Hey, is it is this one of his best? I think it is. So yeah, that's pretty much all I'm gonna say. So that does for this evening. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned here for some more awesome videos.